Wait, there is actually... <laughs> there is a door to this place. Okay, so I wasn't crazy. Alright, let's see what this does. What the? Well, I guess I'm not going back up. I hear a- oh shit. Yep, I hear and see a camera, and the camera sees me. Attention! Due to the recent mishap involving friend Ventus, I hath installed mine own invention of non-slip mats in the sub-aquatic outposts. These devices are full soft as carpet, yet also completely water resistant. I promise thee, these mats should allow all mechanists to stand tall before Father Karis and the Master Builder himself. Friend Manus. Damn it. Are you the one I'm looking for? Are you Gavador? Well, that would be too easy. Nope, just a body. Hmm. That must be the Cetus Amicus. Guess I'll sneak aboard and have a look around. It's a freaking submarine! They're building the first submarine. Or, actually, they built, I guess. They've already built the first submarine. Can I go this way? <laughs> Whoops. Oh god, I'm full red. No, I can't go that way. Unless, well, I guess I could jump into the water, but I don't want to. It's pretty freaking cold. Oh god. I like these postmodern windows. Look at that. This place is far too lit for comfort. Uh, I don't think that's going to work. Never mind. I really love what they did with the sound effects. Alright, what's over here? Oh, hello. Oh, it's just a scouting orb, damn it. I thought it was a flash bomb. Uh, 
those are some big levers. And I don't know what they do. Oh, hello. Oh, okay, it opens one or two. Whatever those are. Good night. What shadow passed my view? Really? All is quiet once more. What shadow passed my view? I don't know, person that's on the other side of a gigantic, probably cast iron... bulkhead? I'm not sure, are you able to see shadows through this? You know what's funny? I'm actually hearing more noise through that bulkhead than I hear through a wooden door. I don't understand, thief. It makes no sense. Hmm. Where should I go? I could go to the submarine. Which I'm guessing is probably where Cavador is. But... Uh, let me check out this area over here first. You know, I was trying to figure out what material this is that I'm walking on. Because it looked kind of like grating, but it seems to be silent. I think that's the rubber mats they were talking about. Yeah, because it's completely silent. But this isn't going to be. Hmm. I sure hope there are no guards around here. The heck is that? A massive aquarium? Watch your control. Uh, I guess that turns off the cameras? I'm guessing that's what watcher means. Yep. Oh my god, there's so many levers. Hmm, does that... Oh, is this just to close it back up? Oh, okay. Can I actually put one of these on? No. Attention, subaquatic crewman! What have I... Oh no, I haven't read this. Master Karras hath learned that the previous occupants of these caves left behind a most great quantity of wealth upon their departure. The local legend hath it... Hath it that the leader of the pirates, Captain Markham, didst hide a sea chest of treasure somewhere neath the surface. The myth doth also state that this bounty be kept in a structure like a sailing vessel. All subaquatic crewmen should consider themselves tasked to find this gold for the good of the mechanist order. Well, I know what I'm going to be searching for. 
But before I go in the water, let me explore everything else first. I think I have three breath potions? Yeah. Alright, what's upstairs? Damn it. Oh. Ah. Alright, I'm just gonna load. Blast. Can we not keep anything working? Okay, he's coming down. But where? Damn, that is a long patrol path. Oh my god, oh no, 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 come on. Please? Whew. You, my friend, can take a dip. No, I'm just kidding, I'm just gonna put you there. There's someone right on the other side. Please don't open the door. Come with me, sir. You seem to have fallen unconscious. I'll take you to the medic. Do you feel better? This is a good place to be. Let's try this. I'm guessing he's gonna come to just like right there. Oh, nope. Perfect. Is that oh. Hmm. There seems to be something going around the base causing mysterious unconsciousness. I hope I didn't just kill him. Let me check. No, he's good. No. This is how you do it. Good. Man, this place is huge. I'm not even sure where to go now. Articles of the good ship Catherine's Folly, as set forth by Captain Dark William Markham. Oh, so this is the person who made this place, right? Every man shall obey civil command. The captain shall have one full share and a half in all prizes. The master, carpenter, and boatswain shall have one share and quarter. If any man shall offer to run away or keep any secret from the company, he shall be marooned with one bottle of rum, one bottle of water, one cutlass. <laughs> if any man shall steal anything in the company or gamble to the value of a piece of gold, he shall be marooned or shot. If any time we should meet another marooner, that is, pirate, that man that shall sign his articles without the consent of our company shall suffer such punishment as the captain and company shall think fit. That man that shall strike another whilst these articles are in force shall receive Ludman's Law, that is 40 stripes, uh, wait, 40, yeah, 40 stripes lacking one on the bare back. What? 
40 stripes? You mean 40 lashes? <laughs> that man that shall snap his arms or carry a candle lighted without a lanthorn. L lanthorn? I don't know what these things are. Shall suffer the same punishment as in the former article. That man that shall not keep his blade clean, fit for an engagement, or neglect his business, shall be cut off from his share, and suffer such other punishment as the captain and the company shall think fit. If any man shall lose a joint in the time of an engagement, he shall have 400 pieces of gold, if a, l if a limb, 800. If at any time you meet with a prudent woman, that man that offers to meddle with her without her consent shall suffer present death. I barely understood any of that. The grammar was so bizarre. Somewhere underneath this water is loot. Glorious, glorious, long-forgotten loot. And you can bet I'm going to get it before I leave. Mm, no. Not yet. Okay, I think I've pretty much exhausted this place here, so I want to go into bulkhead number two. This should do it. Your whistling is terrible. Please oh, shut up. Sake, is there someone there? What? Are you serious? Garrett, can you please aim a bit better? Okay, let's try this again, Garrett. All there you go. Um, I'm pretty sure that means there's something wrong. Yeah. The dials appear to be going crazy. They're going all over the fucking place. I think something's about to explode. Friend Erlin, thou art hereby tasked with retrieving Father Karras' belongings from the flooded living area near Subaquatic Outpost 1. Of prime importance is his work in progress, the new scripture of the Master Builder. Retrieve it at once, and the Builder will surely bless thee. Helsey. Hmm, flooding living area near Subaquatic Outpost 1. Okay. I think I know where that is. Maybe. In time of peril breaketh glass. I'm feeling pretty perilous right now. Healing potion. And, well. I have four breath potions. That should be enough to find the loot. Gotta get that pirate booty. Captain, today we did run... Oh god, this is going to be a bitch to read. <laughs> it's written by someone who barely knows how to write. Today we did run through that scurvy lighthouse keeper. 
We tried to reason with him, but when he did like... But when he did like a crippled dog... Talk he did of his fair miss, who be scheduled, scheduled to return to the what? Scheduled. Who be scheduled to return to the cave? When she arrives, I will be sure to turn her over to ye. We also know of some loot he did hide. We be keeping ya infirmed. We be keeping ya infirmed. Ye should also know that the crew wishes to rename the cove after you. Tis a proud day indeed for the Brotherhood of the Sea. You know, that would be the perfect thing to read in a really stupid sounding pirate accent, but I just can't do it. I'm not good with accents. Someone's up here. <clears throat> Who tread there? <clears throat> I think I can get behind him. Yep. Oh, hello. I'll take one, two, and three and four. For some reason, there was no five. Hmm. There are two different cargo lockers. I don't know where those would be. Maybe on the ship? Oh, there's someone coming. Alright, let's check out this boat. Come on, come on. Come on, come on! Before that guy turns around! Oh god, come on, come on, come on, come on. Whew, that was close. I don't think it saw me. No. Okay, let's check out the boat. I mean, the submarine. Big difference between a boat and a submarine. Oh shit. I think he saw me. Yep. Oh god. I kind of feel bad about that. Yeah, if I wanted to walk around here stealthy, I would need moss arrows everywhere. Because the entire thing is made out of extremely loud metal. That is, as opposed to quiet metal. Okay, anything else up here? Before I go down? Someone heard something. Mm, let's go down this way. Objective complete? What did I complete? Oh, board it. Mm, I don't know what this material is, so I'm not sure if it's loud. Nah, not really. there. 
Oh shit. Here, why don't you have a sleep on the couch? Which appears to have a half inch thick cushion all around. That looks very uncomfortable. Enjoy! Oh yay! A cleaning supply closet that doubles as food storage. That's sanitary. Captain's Log, Cetus Amicus, Entry 1. Today was indeed a fine day, for Karis was on hand for the commissioning of this, the finest of vessels, the Cetus Amicus. In all my years as captain of seagoing craft, I never sailed a ship so sleek or strong. Verily, the Cetus Amicus mocks those wave-bound barges. To glide below the, flo the flotsam and jetsam, oh, I hope I'm pronouncing that right, to stand safely in the womb of this steel shark as she cuts through the briny deep. Never again shall there be a vessel as fine as this. Entry 26. Damn that Fredus! He has failed miserably in his duties as cargo master, and will be disciplined forthwith. To lose the only key to Cargo Locker 5. He claims he passed it to Seawit, to Senwith, while in Subaquatic Outpost 1, but the key has since disappeared. I fear it may have slipped beneath the flooring into the bilge water. Until one of the men can locate the key, Cargo Locker 5 remains sealed. Entry 30. Fish again! If only mutton would keep on our voyages. Yay, fish, 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 and more fish. Entry 31. Today we set course once again for the KD site, bringing Cavador back to continue his excavation. He wouldn't go into details, but apparently he's uncovered some new artifact that Karis is very excited about. This may be the last voyage we make in quite some time, as Cavador has been ordered to remain at the site indefinitely. Entry 39. The crew is prepared for yet another voyage to the KD site. This time to drop off special cargo for Cavador. He is ready to excavate another zone, and as per standard mechanist procedure, needs to cleanse the area with rust gas to prevent the growth of any flora. I must admit, however, that I have grown tired of these mundane cargo runs. I feel the time has come to refit the Cetus Amicus as a ship of war, and venture beyond the confines of established routes. I shall propose this change to my superiors upon my return from the KD site. Okay, so the key to Cargo Locker 5 is somewhere in the bilge water beneath Outpost 1. Well, I'm going to be searching in the water anyway, so I guess I'll be looking for a key too. There is no one aboard. Sweet! Eat it all. All of it. More. More. Well, I still have yet to find any of those storage lockers, though. Where the hell are they? Maybe they're down another floor? Carries much prestige with it. I was worried they might come this way when the conversation finishes, but it sounds like they're just staying put.
All right, what's behind door number two? Sweet. <sighs> yeah, I think maybe they should have made sliding doors for this. This doesn't really work with a narrow hallway. <gasps> Flash bombs? Yes. Sweet. And nothing in there. Cetus Amicus Cargo Manifest. Main hold supplies for the KD site. Okay, one, weaponry, two, potions. God, I already got that. Three, rust gas, if moved from main cargo storage. Four, scouting orbs, which I don't care about. And five, the one I need the key for, is miscellaneous equipment. Hmm, miscellaneous. Don't care about scouting orbs, but I might as well grab them. Uh, I think this is the main hold. Wait, no, no, this is this is the engine room. Oh my god. Good job on the button placement. The engineer must have been drunk when he designed this. Okay, so what is there left for me to do? Steal a sample of the rust gas. Huh. Okay, I've got a bunch of things to do. Do I have a terrible memory, or did I read this? No, I did. I just read that. <laughs> ah... Okay, let me get a flash bomb out just in case. Who treads there? <laughs> oh god. Unroot this weed with me, friend. Seriously. <laughs> Excuse me, hold on. There we go. And now I have no flash bombs again. You fucking dicks. Fuck both of you. There, I pounded... Well, hold on, let me get this one. Come on. I'm trying to hit this one in the dick. Come on. No. No. Fine, I'll hit him in the face. <sighs> there we go. Bashed them both in the dick. Now they're not going to have children. Alright, well I think I've been throughout the entire ship, but where's the main cargo hold? Because I need to find rust gas. Oh, wait a minute, didn't it say cargo... Or Wait, no, 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 no. No, oh, never mind, hold on. Get out of the way. I think it was cargo hold 5 that was supposed to have rust gas if removed from the main chamber, right? No, three. Three has rust gas if moved from main cargo storage. Where's main? Let me check three. Yeah, there's nothing in here. So it hasn't been moved from the main storage, but where's the main storage? I'm stuck. There we go. It's not here, this is the captain's place. This isn't it. I would say it's this, but... But it doesn't seem to be. I don't know, maybe it's in five. Anyway, let's see what's down here. What the heck is that? Okay, hold on, let me get... go up. Save it, and let's explore. Let me get my breath potion out. 
There it is. Well, there's nothing down there. Okay, what is this? That's gotta be a window, right? Otherwise, the water would be rushing in inside. Go down. Go down. Come on. Seriously. Okay. I can't go down. It doesn't really look like there's a window there, but I guess there's supposed to be. <sighs> Alright, let's go to, um, the subaquatic whatever number one. No, that's not what I wanted to do, Garrett. There you go. Okay, let's see what's over here. Is that thou fault? And receive thy chop Damn it. I crush you, faulty gong. That was stupid. I should have peered around the corner. I didn't set up fast enough. Oh, I can't collect it. Oh, no. Just kill me. I forgot you cannot collect it back. Okay, I'm supposed to be a master thief, so I'm going to pretend I am. This time, I'm not going to just run around a corner. Because that's a bad idea. That's not stealth. Sake, is there someone there? You are revealed, weed. Speak thy name. Bingo. Wait, this is the main storage? Okay. Didn't expect that. Ew. I don't want a freaking mace. Alright, let's see what's down here. Probably nothing. Yep. Oh, wait. Ooh. There's a secret chamber. Or, well, probably just a pathway. Keeping an eye out for that key. Ha <laughs> 
Okay, let's go to Subaquatic 1. Which is... Uh, this way, I think. I think I'm pretty... Wait. Nope, that's not the right way. I think I'm pretty much taking care of all of the guards. Wonderfully silent. Feels soft on my toes as well. Somewhere to get into the water. Such as... Such as not here. I'm not sure if I've ever been over there. Alright, let's look down here. I sure hope there are no water enemies in Thief. Because I really don't like fighting things in the water. In fact, just being in the water in games kind of creeps me out a bit. Oh. Didn't expect to come back there. Okay, key, key, key. I see something over there. I'm actually going to hold my breath for the duration that Garrett holds his breath. That's always fun, isn't it? That wasn't even hard. I can hold my breath for way longer than Garrett can, which doesn't make any sense. He's gotta be way more fit than me with all of his running about. Fuck? Is that one of the mechanist things? What is that? Oh, one of the di- Oh, one of the divers died by the trap, I guess. <laughs> well, that sends a pretty strong message, huh? Let's see what the hell it says. If ye be reading this note, ye likely be here for the bounty of the good ship Catherine's Folly. 
The same as the fool before ye. Ye best be turning back now and stay out of me vessel's hold, for you suffer the same fate as he. Captain Markham. Oh, I don't think I'm going to suffer the same fate. For I am Garrett, Master Assassin, that cannot even climb into a windowsill that's one foot above me without clomping around like a horse. I also frequently fall off ladders. They trained me well. Well, unless there's some underwater traps, I think I'm going to be fine. Oh my god. That is a beautiful chest. Look at that. What the hell is in there? Uh, I don't see anything that could be a trap. Let me take a breath potion. Oh, okay, it res restores you to full. Ooh, apple. Oh, you just open it. Diamonds! That was anticlimactic. Uh... I'm just gonna go back underwater. I think I've awoken Markham's ghost. Hi. You know what? I am going to test something. Can ghosts swim? Let's find out. Come on. Come and get me. Well, well, what you gonna do about it, huh? Yeah, didn't think so. And now we know, ghosts cannot swim. Well, I still need that damn key. And I still need... The passage, the new passage. Which is somewhere in the flooded living quarters. And I think I might know where that is. Okay, I think it's somewhere up here. Yeah, actually, I think this leads to water, right? Yeah, this is probably the flooded living quarters, I'm thinking. Maybe? Oh yeah, oh yeah, definitely. There it is. Alright, anything else to grab before I read that? Nope. The New Scripture of the Master Builder, Draft, page 16. Kara saw that a person, an animal, a plant, anything ill-born of nature, when consumed by the Gassian... the... Gassian's necrotic... mutox... what? The Gassian's necrotic... Uh, necrotic... mutox would dissolve into rust. Karis had observed this many times over and over again, for in it, for in it, he felt the presence of truth. Whether released by a container or through the lips of a servant's mask, Karis would observe the action of the gas from a spot as close to the area of effect as he possibly could in safety. In safety. When the rust settled, Karis would zealously scrutinize the remains for meaning. And now Karis looked back upon these those investigations, and he spoke aloud, saying, O oh, Master Builder, I have felt your will. I know that I have been chosen to bring your paradise to the world. I know that I must not fail, or your wrath shall consume me, and I shall lie forever in the forest. You have saved for those who are unholy. Master Builder, my mind shall be sharp, my machines will not falter, and I will keep Karis from the risk of death. In your name I shall construct 
a protective chamber in Soulforge Cathedral, and there, where I cannot be harmed, Karis shall stay. I shall reconsider every element of my plan. If any are weak, Karis shall make them sound. Oh, so that's where he is. He's in a protective chamber in Soulforge Cathedral, wherever that is. I think I'm going to drown a bit. That sounded painful. Okay, now I just need the damn key. Alright, what's left? Alright, just find the missing key to Cargo Locker 5 and hide in it. Hiding is my specialty. As you can see, I've been trained expertly in it. Remember the time I ran around a corner and got seen by a guard, staring right at me? Yep, that's what years of training gets you. <laughs> Welcome back. I cut out about ten minutes of me fumbling around looking for that damn key to Storage Locker 5, but I just found a new, ro a new room that I haven't been to before, and I think it might be where the key is. <laughs> Because it looks like a changing room. There's a bunch of lockers, and there's a bunch of slits in the ground, so I'm thinking this is a pretty good place for a key to fall through. In fact, there's the key. Look at that. Hello. And there's also this. Let's see what this is. Walric. Indeed, Father Karras' plan proves yet more brilliant than I hath imagined. <clears throat> the Father doth call it the Cetus Project, after the Cetus Amicus. The project itself, however, is in truth the grand meshing of several operations. Like two gears joining their cogs at the KD site, Cavador hath uncovered the ancient power used by our order to benefit all of humankind. Our vessel must needs transport those discoveries back here to Markham's Isle. Even the restoration of the lighthouse was directed by Karis himself. When the Cetus Amicus returns from a journey to the KD site, the lighthouse beacon is used to signal Karis in Angel Watch. Everything doth prove so machine-like, so perfect. Friend Loris. There we go. Ooh, what else is down here? Okay. Alright, I am almost done with this mission. Let's see. Um, I think I go back this... Yeah. I gotta go back down. <laughs> and here we go. Okay. Let's see where this thing is going. I guess it's going to take me to the KD project site. Which is... somewhere. Tight fit. It was a short ride. Yeah, that is not going to be fun. <laughs> On a submarine for hours, maybe days, in a cargo hold. It's a shame I ate all the apples.